Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shweta Anand and welcome back to my channel Simplify Dentistry. Today's topic is the basic introduction of dental anatomy. Now first let us know what is dental anatomy. Dental anatomy is the study of the development, morphology, function and identity of each of the teeth in the human dentition as well as the way in which the teeth relate in shape form, structure, color and function to the other teeth in the same dental arch or to the teeth in the opposing arch. Now let's know about the types of teeth. There are four types of human teeth. First is incisors. Incisors are the cutting teeth. They are thin and they have blade like crowns. Second is canines. Canines are the piercing or tearing teeth they have single pointed cone shaped crown. Third is premolars. Premolars are bicuspid teeth, that is, they have two cusps and they are absent in primary dentition. Fourth is molars. Molars are grinding teeth possessing a number of cusps on an otherwise flattened biting surface. Now let's know about the surfaces of teeth. First, let's know about facial surface. Facial surface is the surface of tooth nearest to cheeks or lips. It includes labial surface or buccal surface. Labial surface is close to lips present in anterior teeth, whereas buccal surface is close to cheeks present in posterior teeth. Now let's know about the palatal surface and lingual surface. Palatal surface is the surface of tooth close to palate in the maxillary arch. Whereas lingual surface is the surface of tooth next to tongue in mandibular arch. Now let's know about the proximal surfaces. Proximal surface is the surface of tooth towards another tooth in dental arch. Each tooth has two proximal surfaces. First one is mesial surface and second is distal. Mesial surface is the surface closest to median line of face whereas distal surface is the surface away from median line of face. Now let's know about the masticatory surface. Masticatory surface is the surface that aids in chewing. It is subdivided into occlusal and incisal surface. Occlusal surface is the chewing surface of posterior teeth, whereas incisal surface is the chewing surface of anterior teeth. Now let's know how a tooth is divided into thirds. For the purposes of description, the crowns and roots of teeth have been divided into thirds and junctions of the crown surfaces are described as line angles and point angles. Line angle and point angle are used as descriptive terms to indicate a location. When the surfaces of the crown and root portions are divided into thirds, these thirds are named according to their location. The crown is divided into incisal or occlusal third, middle third and cervical third. The root is divided into cervical third, middle third and apical third. The crown may be divided into thirds in three directions. Inciso or occluso cervically, mesiodistally, labio or bacolingually. Now let's know about line angles. A line angle is formed by the junction of two surfaces and derives its name from the combination of the two surfaces that join. Anterior teeth have six line angles and posterior teeth have eight line angles. The line angles of anterior teeth are as follows. Mesiolabial, distolabial, mesiolingual, distolingual, labio incisal and lingua incisal. Because the mesial and distal incisal angles of anterior teeth are rounded, mesio incisal and disto incisal line angles are usually considered non-existent. The line angles of posterior teeth are as follows. Mesiobuccal, distobuccal, mesiolingual, distolingual, mesio-occlusal, disto-occlusal, buccal-occlusal and lingual-occlusal.
Now let's know about the point angles. A point angle is formed by the junction of three surfaces. The point angle also derives its name from the combination of the names of the surfaces forming it. Both anterior and posterior teeth have four point angles. The point angles of anterior teeth are mesolabio incisal, distolabio incisal, mesolingual incisal, and distolingual incisal. The point angles of posterior teeth are mesobuccal occlusal, distobuccal occlusal, mesolingual occlusal, and distolingual occlusal. Thank you for watching this video, and for more such contents related to dentistry. Please like, share and subscribe to Simplified Dentistry.